this is going to be my first lesson uh, remotely. So we're going to look at uh, Unit 8, uh, Customary Measurements and, and uh, Units. Uh, customary is the word we use for stuff that you use all the time, which is like feet, inches, yards, uh, those kind of things. And so we're going to have to be able to convert things from one set of units to another. So we have a tape measure that measures with inches and feet. Um, sometimes we have to convert that to yards or square yards or square feet or you know various things, and so that's what this lesson's about. Um, but it's not just measuring uh, distance-wise. It could be two dimensions, three dimensions, uh, lots of different uh, reasons why we want to do that. So easy one here is we're going to convert from inches to feet. And so, uh, excuse me, from feet to inches, I have four feet. I'm wondering how many inches do I have? And I know everyone's yelling, 48 inches. And you're absolutely right. But how do we get there? And it's like if you figure out the method of doing it, then no matter how crazy things get, you'll be able to convert. So, for example, four feet times 12. But how do I know it's by times 12 and not divided by 12? Well, what I do is I use, let the units tell me what to do. I know I want to go from feet to inches. And so what I do is I have the unit, the four feet. I know I'm going to multiply. And I'm going to put the feet down here. Because it's going to cancel with the feet up there. Feet divided by feet, and it's going to go away. So once I know that, I know this is one foot, now I put the conversion in. In this case, it's 12 inches. So it tells me 4 times 12 is equal to 48. Again, I know you knew that a while ago, but this will work for every situation, every conversion that you need to do, the same method. So if I have something like going back the other way, I have inches to feet, now we're going the opposite direction. And again, the units are going to tell me I have 48 inches, I know I want to get rid of inches, so I divide by inches. And I want to go to feet, so I'm going to multiply by feet. And then I put the conversion. One foot is 12 inches. It tells me what to do. Now the inches are going to go away. The feet are going to be there. And I'm going to end up with 48 times 1 divided by 12. And that's going to convert it back to 4 feet. And so like I say, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, but if you do it step by step, no matter how crazy the numbers get, you'll, you'll be able to do it. Um, let's go to yards. Um, yards equals how many inches? Again, we have 0.75 yards. So we're going from yards to inches. We're going to end up dividing by our yards and multiplying by inches. And sure enough, we got 0.75 yards, divide by yard, multiply by inches, and then the conversion. So you, kind of, you do need to know that there's 36 inches in a yard. You need to know there's 12 inches in a foot. Um, that part you, you have to kind of memorize. Um, but as far as the math's concerned, you just let the units tell you what to do. So here's what's called a conversion table. I know it's a little bit blurry. We're doing the best we can. These are conversions. <coughs> so. Again, a lot of these you're really familiar with, like feet and yards, um, and yards to inches. But what about some of these bad boys, like rods and furlongs and miles and stuff? Um, those are ones you're not familiar with so much. But you could still run into a situation where you have to convert feet to furlongs, or furlongs into rods, or something like that. How do you do that? The same way we did inches uh, and yards and stuff just now is... You start off with what it is, you know where you're trying to go to, so then you divide by that unit and multiply by the unit you're going to. And then you put the conversion in. And you're going to get that from a table or you might get that from the internet. And we don't just have, this is what's called linear measurement, which is just distance. We could also have other types of measurement, like square units. And what happens with square units is you have a square foot not just uh, a foot. A square foot has this. So for example, let's come over here to the board. We know we have one foot times one foot. That's one square foot, right? One foot squared, and that's area. 
So every time we're talking about drywall or flooring or the ceiling, we're talking about area. We also know that one foot is the same as 12 inches, right? And so if we put 12 inches, that's not quite 12 inches, obviously. Um, that would be converting 12 uh, inches, into, or excuse me, one foot into 12 inches. But if we're doing square, we have to do it this way as well, right? 12 inches. And so it turns out that when we're doing square units, it's not just doing it once, you have to do it twice because it turns out that one square foot is equal to 144 inches squared, right, which is 12 times 12. Now you might think, okay, um, and want to memorize that, and you can, but an easy way to do it is to go back to our units. I have one square foot, and just like we did before, we're going to say, hey, that's a foot. I'm going to put the foot on the bottom. Inches are going to be on the top, right? Well, what's the conversion? One foot is 12 inches. Now, when we go to do it, if we only do it one time, we have feet squared and we've divided by foot, so that turns it into feet. So how do we get rid of this other foot? Well, we've got to do it again. Right, one foot is 12 inches. When we do it a second time, now feet squared is gone. <clears throat> and then we have 1 times 12 times 12. And that's going to give us, let me do it this way, 12 inches times 12 inches. It's going to give us 144. That's the 12 times 12. And so what's cool about this is you end up in the same spot, but you didn't have to memorize that. And you think, well, I can memorize that, but what about how many, how many square inches are there in a square yard? How many square feet are there in a square mile? You see what I'm saying? You have to memorize a lot of things, but if you just do it step by step, you'd get to the same spot. So um, that's conversions. Now, I'm going to come back here to the screen and... We can also have other types of conversions. We can do cubic feet, right? And we could memorize that one cubic feet is the same as 1,728 cubic inches. But really, what is this? 12 times 12 times 12 will give you 1,728. Or one cubic yard is equal to uh, 27 cubic feet. Well, how did we get that? Well, three feet in a yard. 3 feet in a yard, 3 feet in a yard. 3 times 3 times 3 is the same as 27. And so, no better, depending on the number of dimensions that you're doing it is the number of times you have to do it. So if it's just linear, you just do it one time. If it's square units, you have to convert twice. And then if it's volume, you have to convert three times. So that will be enough for uh, this short video. I'm trying to keep them kind of short um, on converting. Thank you.